Okay, it's the intention of this video to give you a little demonstration of some voice activation being used to control my Broadlink. Now you can see my Broadlink over there, right over there. And one thing you should notice when I'm doing this video is you should actually see it, you know, activating. You should see the light going on when I'm issuing voice commands, basically. Now I've decided to do picture in picture because I'm going to be using a smartwatch to deliver the instructions, which are then going to be acted on the Broadlink. Now, the thing about this video is it's going to have a few glitches because I've got a really lousy internet connection right now. My web page hasn't even finished loading yet because the internet connection just basically keeps dropping. Now, that's going to affect how quickly the commands get acted on. So if I, you know, do say a command and then it doesn't act on it, it's because the internet connection is taking its time. Whereas with a proper internet connection, you know, basically this happens instantly. So I thought I'd just do this quick demonstration just to show you, you know, what is possible if you know how. So let's give it a quick go. I'm actually going to try and turn on the fan with my Broadlink, which I've set up, and do a few TV commands with my Broadlink. And you can basically get to see them. So right now, that is my website, simiantuit.co.uk. The Broadlink is over there. So keep an eye out for the light going on on the Broadlink after I've issued commands. But basically, you're going to hear the computer also basically um, say something to me. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that. In fact, let me just turn the TV up so you can hear the TV. So let's just give this a quick go and see how we get on. Computer. Pay attention. The time is 15.59. Pay attention. Starting ID of service. Fan on now. Fan on now. I think the computer basically froze for a second there, that's why there was a little delay. Let's give it another go. Fan off now. Fan off now. As you can see there was a bit of a delay, the computer's actually freezing a little bit. Should have rebooted it before this but you know it's a live demonstration so i just wanted to show you this in action so tv menu in fact as you can see it opened up the tv menu tv move down tv move down tv move down TV move down. TV move right. So as you can see, all my voice commands are being acted on as I'm basically issuing them through the watch, which are going through to the broad link in a really cool way that I've got it set up. TV back. TV back. Watch the broad link. And as you can see, the red light just went TV back. TV back. Again, you can see that it's just done that. So, you know, I've set this up so I can control anything basically with voice commands using my broad link. And I just wanted to demonstrate to you on this video. So right now I'm in a process of linking everything up around the house to be voice controlled through my broad link. So that's things like the lights, the fan, fan on now, fan on now, like I said there's a bit of a delay with the computer doing its own thing, fan on now. Now the computer doesn't want to play ball today, I should have, like I say, restarted it. But as you can see from this little demo, you know, it actually waits. As you can see, the command's just gone through because the computer's delayed. 
But as you can see, you can actually control a broad link if you know how to do it. So if you want to find out how I'm doing this, I am offering consultations to show you exactly how I've got this set up myself so that you can do it yourself basically to, you know, control your broad link with your voice so you don't even have to use the app anymore. Now that's what I wanted to do because with this device I can control anything that's radio frequency, anything that's infrared frequency, you know, and quite simply do some really cool stuff with it. Fan on now. Fan. Computer. Pay attention. Fan on now. As you can see, it's just done it. Fan off now. Fan off now. And as you can see, if you keep watching, you can see the light goes on on the broad link when I'm issuing these commands. Welcome home. I hope you have had a great day. The time is 17.03. Would you like to listen to some music? Yes, please. Anyway, I'm going to stop that. Minimize. Yes, please. How about the movie? Yes, please. How about the movie? Scratch that. No. Cancel that. Close. Computer, pay attention. Minimize. Basically, I'll close that down because I didn't want any music playing in the background while I'm actually recording this, otherwise I'd have to edit it all out. But basically, that's my welcome home greeting. So when I come home, I get offered the opportunity to, you know... Okay, if you change your mind about wanting some music or a movie, just let me know. I get offered whether I want to... Hold on a second. Power down. Computer, power down. Ignore me. Basically, that tells the computer to stop listening to me, otherwise everything I say I'll be trying to interpret and, you know, basically trying to do things while I'm talking to you. But anyway, that's my welcome home greeting, which basically, you know, offers me a movie or some music to, you know, listen to when I get home. And all I have to do is basically talk into the watch and say, yes, that I want music, what music I want, tell it to basically, you know, play a movie. And this is my home automation. This is how I have things set up. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demo of me actually voice controlling, you know, my broad link and showing you how I use it. If you want to know some more about, you know, home automation and how I'm doing it and how I've done it myself, then quite simply check out simiantuit.co.uk, get in touch with me and we'll take it from there. Like I say, this isn't for everybody. This is for people that are really serious about home automation and they, you know, like what I've done in the